Hello everyone, it is Thursday, May 31st in the year of our Lord 2012. How are all you doing? I'm doing awesome. I am wicked sweaty right now. Just got done playing volleyball. We lost. It was close, both games. But that's alright though. It was fun. If you ain't having fun, you ain't living. I'd rather be living than dying. That's right. Alright, but either way, whether we win or lose the game, I'm still a winner. You know why? Because I got beer, and tonight's beer is New Belgium Somerset Summer Seasonal at 5.2%. Mmm, blonde with a suggestion of amber? Okay, they either suggest it or they don't. I don't know. It's a uh, citrus aroma centennial with, from Centennial Hobbs, tug of soft apricot fruitiness. Completed by a smooth, upright finish with oaks that were pinched, pitched in a long, slow mash. Hmm. Somersaults all around. I've never had this before. Out of uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, New Belgium Brewing Company. From the makers of the world-famous Fat Tire Ale. These guys brew some awesome beer. I have yet to find a New Belgium beer that I did not like. Alrighty. Cheers and beers to all of you. Wow. I like this. I like this a lot. That is like one of the most perfect summer beers right there. Great for a hot day like today. Here in Yeha, Texas. That's right. Where men and the men and the bulls run scared. Yeah, baby. Ale brew with natural flavors. Somersault Summer Seasonal. Say that ten times wicked fast, huh? I dare you. Alrighty. Birthday shout outs. We'll give the uh, random fact of the day right now because the following, well, eh, I'll wait a moment. Alright. My man JD Nix. Happy birthday to you, my friend. Worked with you in awesome Japan. We loved it over there. Great man. 1834. That's right. I know. Remember that number. But JD, hope you're doing well. I know you live. If I'm not mistaken, you're living in North Kakalaki, as they say, North Carolina. Isn't that just Southern Virginia? I'm just kidding. Well, hope you're doing well, my friend. Always a pleasure chatting with you. Great man. Great family man. Just, just a great guy. Hard worker. And, uh, good people. No doubt about it. All right. Uh, next on the list. Now, I've known this guy since high school. My man, Alan Lucas. Happy birthday to you. Hope you're doing well. Always a pleasure to chat with. Like me, always good mood, cheerful, you know, absolutely likable guy. Just ultra nice guy. Hey, like this guy. That's right. So, Alan, hope you're celebrating in style. I celebrate with you. Mm. Next on the list. Now, here's a lady. I think I've met you. I'm sure I have, being a fellow vineyarder. I know your daughter, Penny. Uh, Charlene Barboza, happy birthday to you. Hope you've had an awesome day. I know we play the Facebook apps a lot together. Just really nice lady. Real cool, laid back. Now, here's one for you. If you ever shopped at the Vineyard Haven A&P before it became Stop and Shop, I was that guy on the register that added everybody's grocery orders up in their head. Yes, I did. Remember that? I'd always add them up in my head and then hit that button and be right about 99% eh, of the time. Count, accounting for that 5% sales tax we had. And uh, so Charlene, hope you've had a fantastic day. I know I have. All right, next on the list. This guy, I mean, he is, I'm just going to say it, the poor man's m and Because he's not as rich as Mar Marshall Mathers, but probably richer at heart. Great man, great family man, great husband, not to me, um, my man Chris Ralston, now this guy can improv a rap song faster than you can say Yankees suck, okay, I'm not kidding you, we were on, we were on vacation together one time, and uh, there were a whole bunch of us, and all of a sudden he just went around the room and did a rap for every single person in the room, you remember that Chris, I know I do, that was uh, 2004, early 2004. Ironically, that shirt represents it. Remember that, Chris? That's right. So, anyway, I bought this shirt there. 
when we were on vacation. Pretty awesome. So, Chris, big shout out to you. Always a pleasure chatting with you. I know you're a diehard Colts fan. Being from Indiana, you should be. But it's okay. You can always come over to the real team, the Patriots. That's right. So, Chris, have a wicked awesome day, my brother from another mother. All right, next on the list. Now, here's a man I met back in 1997. I'll make that 99. When I started dating, dating my love goddess, my beloved Farrah. My man, Juan Barber. Happy birthday, big man. Hope you're doing well. I know I am. <clears throat> Squeeze me. I am drinking for you. I think we should have a beer together. We always do whenever I go to Fresno. And bro, I miss you. Love you, man. No homo. Juan is definitely one phenomenal friend, phenomenal guy, phenomenal dad. I mean, just, just an amazing man. Period, dot, end of story. So, Juan, party hard and enjoy. And by the way, you're right. It was a fumble. But your Raiders still suck. Love you, man. All right, next on the list, my man Matt Britt, who I worked with in jolly old England. A great man, great young man. Kudog! Um, hope you're doing well. Hope you're celebrating this style. Hope you, hope you celebrated this style because now it's June 1st over in jolly old England. But uh, hope you had a great day. Hope you didn't have to work too hard, you know. Celebrate your birthday in style. You deserve it. All right. So always a pleasure keeping in touch with you. Definitely a great guy. A great young man. All right. Now how about some additional shout outs? I was just talking to this man about, new, he mentioned New Belgium Dig. Uh, and uh, you're right, Mike. Iron Mike Gore. Uh, Lightning Mike Gore, excuse me. Iron Lightning, whatever. He's, he's just a BMF. Bad mofo. But Big Mike, um, hope you're digging the dig. I dig the dig. Dig, Belgian beer, uh, New Belgium Dig. We've had it on the show before. Looks similar to this. Tastes really good as well. Like this one. Mm -mm -mm. But, uh, yeah, man. I think you're going to love tonight's song. Because you and I, we love our blues. Now, it's not, it's blues with some rhythm. It's called Rhythm and Blues, the real rhythm and blues. I'll leave it at that for now. You'll see what it is in a moment. Hi. Right. I'm going to give a shout out. I haven't talked to him in a bit. My man, Derek Black. Hope you're doing well. Um, miss you, bud. You can always come back and visit here in Yeehaw, Texas. That's right. Uh, drop a line. Hope you enjoyed the show. It was a pleasure working with you. Definitely a good guy. No doubt about it. And, uh, you know something? He likes good music, too. And that makes him cool. So, alrighty. Now, I've got a special shout-out. Because I'm about to... I've, I'm already an uncle to five kids, okay? My brother's four kids. And one of my sisters-in-law, one of her kids. Well, my other sister-in-law on that side, on Farrah's side, is fixing to give birth to twin girls. Identical twinsies. And uh, Adam and his better half, Saucy, as I know her as, Sayetta. Um, yeah, I don't roll my R's, okay? Deal with it. But I'm not going to say Zayera, okay? Sayetta, that's how Farrah pronounces it. And uh, I just say saucy beans. Hey, either way. Or as Delilah calls it, dear Chachi. Um, anyway, Adam and Saucy. May my two lovely future uh, nieces grow up to be awesome like you. And uh, healthy. So, we'll know soon. I'm excited. Two more nieces for Uncle Josh. If that ain't awesome, I don't know what is. Alrighty, so we've got the uh, we've got the shout outs done. How about we go to the uh, the random fact of the day? Did you know that 82 years ago today, the great Clint Eastwood was born? That's right, May 31st, 1930. And Clint Eastwood, hard to believe he's 82 years old now, isn't it? You know. Always a legendary tough guy. Go ahead, make my day. I can't. I can't do Clint Eastwood. I'm sorry. 
Besides, I don't swing that way. Anyway, um, so with that said, how about we bring out the license plate of the day? A little heavy, solid. And uh, April 1999, Ohio, the birthplace of aviation. That's right. My brother is trying to call. I am not going to answer the phone right now. I will get to him later. Um, but with the unique thing about this, this is a normal license plate. Okay, it doesn't say sample on it. But yet the sticker says sample. Kind of weird. Found that quite odd. Alrighty, so license plate of the day complied with. And uh, the song of the day is going to be a true slice of real rhythm and blues and when i think rhythm and blues i'm not talking about that modern day rhythm and blues r&b you know i'm talking straight up no bullshit old school style rock and roll with horns we're talking that fusion of jazz and rock and roll called rhythm and blues the era was predominantly 1947 to 1956 and this one's damn near smack dab in the middle by this guy the late great winoni harris Born in 1915, died in 1969, the age of 53, from cancer, unfortunately. But boy, did he live the life. He really did. And he really recorded some interesting songs. And this one right here, from 1951, is called Loving Machine. For I am the love doctor, and it's only fitting that uh, we have Loving Machine. Uh-oh. This guy... Now this box set I hear is a four CD box set from 1944 to 1950. I pulled that up on the uh, YouTube in 1951. Loving machine. That's me, baby. Yep, the song's all about sex. That's a lot of rhythm and blues songs were, folks. You know, these dirty lyrics that you hear nowadays, see, back in the day, when you had a lot more censorship, the difference was they had to be more thoughtful with their songwriting. You had to have you had to have words that meant something else. Okay? And this guy was a genius. And make it sure that he did that and getting across the sensors and onto the airwaves. And he had one hell of a recording career. And he released a lot of fantastic songs. A lot of tasty songs too, I might add. So what do you all think of this one? Loving Machine, 1951. Let me know what you think. Drop some comments in the comment section below, whether on YouTube or on the old Facebook. Squeeze me. This guy lived the life, baby. Like I said, he was heavy drinker. Had a call. That was some real rock gut um, alcohol back in the day. Had a call. H a d a c o l. Look that up. Hi, right, folks. Delilah is busy playing with friends as she likes to do. Nothing wrong with that, for she is a kid, and kids like to play. What's wrong with that, right? You only young once. You got to enjoy it, right? Amen to that. And my brother left a message. You want a beat down? Um. That would be on MLB 2012, the show, okay? All right, folks. It's time to make like a fetus and head out, so everybody take care of a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. You might spill your drink, or you might kill yourself or somebody else, and drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yankee fan like my friend Mike Gore. Hey, note the hat, Mike. That's right, 2004 World Series champions. Now think about that for a second. Who did we come back from? 
three games down, three down three games to none after losing 18 to nine in game three. That's right, the New York Skanks, the Yankees, the Yanks. <sighs> Ugh. I'd rather have a dog fart in my face to be a Yankees fan, okay? Seriously. Ugh. I so anyway, that's what Yankee fans are around for, our entertainment purposes. But, like I said, drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yankees fan. Or rooting for scumbags like Eli and as good as Tom Brady Manning or men slapping women. Things like that are just plain stupid. I right, I'm out of here. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.